Hey guys, James from Dragon's Air South here, and I just wanted to say, always be safe while carrying your guns in public, and make sure you use your guns wisely. Hey guys, Joe from Dragon's Air South here. Today I have the JG Type 89. Now, this is meant to be an assault rifle, but I think it functions really well as a, a uh, support weapon, just because of the way it's built. Looks like a support weapon, first of all. Or one of those older British assault rifles, but that's beside the point. Now, I'm gonna start with the Xtrons. Let me take this off. I don't like that, that kind of annoys me, pisses me off. Um, start from the stock and we'll go forward. Now, if you read the manual of the gun, it says that the stock is where the battery's held. It's not. You can open the stock by pulling out and then turning it. So I guess you could use that as a compartment for tools, kind of nice to use. I'd like that. Um, there is a sling mount back here. I'm not sure if there's one up front. I, we'll get to that. This is in my gun. Of course, now we move forward. Here's a sight. This knob adjusts elevation. It doesn't adjust to the side. It's got another knob on the other side here. It kind of wiggles it forward and back. I'm not too sure what good that's going to do. But uh, this gun has a great feel to it. The butt pad is. It's a rubber one. Just thought I'd mention that. The hand grip's got a great feel to it. It's really comfortable. Not like a standard M4 one or it's I don't think I've ever felt one like this. It's really different. Now, there are no rails on here, but I assume you can get rails. It looks like there's a little mounting platform here for the rails. Little warning sticker there. Okay. Flip this around. And the fire selector switch. It has a three round burst, full auto, semi auto semi-auto and safety only thing is it's in Japanese being a Japanese assault rifle you'd assume that but you'd think selling it to an American market they'd change it but it's JG Japanese company so I guess they wouldn't change it the three is still at English three but I guess that's universal moving a little more here's the charging handle it's metal you can adjust the hop up here with this little wheel which is always nice love to have that on guns right Below it, here we have the magazine release. Now it comes with a metal high cap magazine. Looks pretty much like your standard high cap. Just slide this forward. It's a little tight there. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, it's got these holes in it. Only for this gun. You're not going to find them like this otherwise. It's interesting. Look quite different. But they're numbered 25, 20, 15, 10. I'm assuming on the real rifle, you can see in those holes, it tells you about how many rounds are left. Nice metal magazine, really sturdy. I'm just going to pop that back in there. And I'm having trouble with the mag from this angle. It's very awkward. I'll skip it. Anyway, the hand grip up here, rigid up here, it's really comfortable. I love the way this feels. It's almost like a rubber coating on it kind of feels like it might just be a polymer I don't know but it's really comfortable the front sight doesn't move around it's similar to your standard M4 front sight now there's a bipod in here that folds up right into the hand grip here or if I unfold it again you'll see this if I squeeze it in you can remove it all together which is nice if you're say it's CQB although I wouldn't recommend this for CQB just because of the length of the rifle in the full stock but it'd be a bit more comfortable got a metal flash hider on the end here and now press this button forward well not really a button but it's a screw press it forward slide this side of the handguard out and the battery which it comes with a 8.4 volt stick type battery will go right in the handguard it's a nice rifle great for field play I'd recommend it as a field assault rifle, maybe even a support gun. And that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys again next time.
Hey guys, Joe from Dragon's Airsoft here. We have the Tokyo Marui J. Uh,